the decade since Michael and Sharon Gravel went to jail for forcing their 11 foster children to sleep in cages. Now a legal settlement means one county has to fork over some big bucks. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin has more from our newsroom. Uh, yeah, Chris, this story made headlines around the world. A children's lawyer says they are doing well with one of the children, now 23, graduating college. There have been seven different lawsuits, and now it's finally over. We stopped by Barry's restaurant in Norwalk and got reaction from the locals. Good night. It was a pretty important story, and it was an important story that needed to be told. The Gravels are accused of keeping eight of their 11 adopted children inside these cages in their home. I think that what happened to those kids was horrible, and I don't think any amount of money takes care of anything that happened to them. And there is new information tonight on the Ohio couple who made headlines for forcing their 11 adopted children to sleep in cages. A $2 million settlement with Stark County may bring all the lawsuits in the case of Michael and Sharon Gravel to a close. And everybody agreed that we should be focused on the kids' best interest uh, and not fighting in the courtrooms. And so, you know, I'm, uh, I think all the parties were grateful that we were able to find a resolution. I guess it can't really be over psychologically for the kids. The money will take care of them, will help them, sure, but they'll never forget it. Um, the, there was a baby, wasn't there, a, a real young one. Now that one won't remember it as much, but the older ones, that's going to be hard for them, whatever money they get, you know. Michael and Sharon Gravel claim they were only protecting their special needs children. And it shouldn't be forgotten, and it shouldn't be forgotten because those kids don't deserve to be forgotten. And when it's forgotten, that's when it happens again. Huron County passed a resolution a few years back giving the children $1.2 million. We do know they will receive more than $3 million in total, which will be in a trust. We're live on your side. I'm Michael Baldwin. We're Channel 5. All right, Michael, thanks for that update.